Canva has a built-in video editor that most people don't know about. You could actually edit entire videos using canva.com. In this video, I want to show you exactly how to edit your video from scratch, and I'll show you some of the useful options that are just not obvious that I've learned through experience. And because we're going to use canva.com, the process is exactly the same if you're using a Mac or if you're using a Windows PC. And they also have mobile apps for iPhone, iPad, and Android phones. And the process is relatively the same there too. I do have a link below this video to bring you here to canva.com and you could sign up completely for free. They do have a paid upgrade, but we won't be using it for this video. I'll point it out on some of the options that you do get with the paid option in case it makes sense for you down the road. Now to get started with video, all you have to do is on canva.com, click this video tab here, and it's going to give you some options depending on the type of size of video that you want to make. I'll just use the standard video, which is for YouTube 1920 by 1080. But if you're making a vertical video, you could choose this option. Let's jump into the video tab here. And let me quickly show you the layout here, and then we'll jump in and start editing. But if you've never used Canva before, even for design, Basically right here, you have all your tools that will change the menu that you have on the right side of that. We're going to start here on the upload tab in a second. Over here is your canvas and down here, this is what's called a timeline. So your editing will actually take place down here in the timeline and you'll see a preview it up here in this canvas. And we'll look at this top menu as we go through. But right now, let's go ahead and upload the video that we want to edit. So if you go to the upload tab over here, you could see you could upload images, you could upload videos and audio, and you could also record yourself. But what you want to do right now is press upload media, and then it's going to give you access to your hard drives. And right here, whatever is on your computer, you could go ahead and upload to it. If it's on your phone, for example, you could send it to your computer. You could email it to yourself and save it or use things like AirDrop. Just make sure it's on your computer so you could actually upload it here. As you could see, I've uploaded multiple clips already. I'm going to start with a track where I'm talking because that's the most common way you'll use video editing when you get started. So to add it after you upload it, all you have to do is drag it down here. Okay, so put it in this box, this blank box. So this video clip has video and audio. It's me talking. Okay, so that's the very first thing you do is you add a clip. Now, typically when you're editing, you'll add more clips. So this plus sign right here lets you add another clip. On here, they call it pages and I think it just carries over from the design world that Canva is on. So typically in a video editing software, this would be called a clip, not a page. But to add that, you could press the plus sign and it's gonna build this blank page here. And then you could take another clip you've uploaded and bring it over here and drop it into this box. So that's very basic editing, right? Clip one, clip two, and so on. If you don't press the plus sign, you could still go ahead and grab a clip and just put it over here too. So you don't have to press the plus sign you could add clips exactly the way I showed you. Next, you wanna probably reorder the clips because as you put your clips down here, they might not be in the right order, right? I'll show you how to trim them in a second too. In order to do that, you just grab them and you see how it changes this. So if I wanted this one to be the first clip, okay, this would be the first clip. Now, if I press play right here, it's gonna show me what's going on on this canvas, right? So I could see what's going on. And as soon as this clip ends, it will just cut to the next clip. You see that? So it just cut to me talking. I'm gonna press pause here. And it's telling you, you could preview this a little bit quicker if you just grab this pointer and go through your video clip this way. So adding clips is first, then you just go ahead and reorder the clips. The third thing I typically do after I put all the clips I want and put them in the order I want, is I need to make sure I trim typically the ending and the beginning of the clip to make sure it starts and ends where I want. So to do that, again, I could come to the beginning of this clip and if I wanna start a little bit later, all you have to do is go down here, let me zoom in a bit, which this is the slider right here, by the way. If you have it on the canvas, it will zoom on the page. If you have it down here on the timeline, you could zoom into the timeline. You see how it's zooming in. It's not making an edit, it's just for your preview here so you get a closer look. So if I wanted to actually start this clip right here, I would come right here and I would grab the beginning of it and just push it into that line. You see that? Just like this. And as it clicks on right there, it's just made the edit. So I got rid of the beginning of that clip. I will do the exact same thing with the end of it. Let's say I don't want to end it where it ends right now. I want to end it maybe right over here. I would bring this here and I would grab the end again. 
and I'll drag it in, okay? So you're just squeezing it. This is the beginning and an end of the clip could be cut this way. Probably one of the most useful edits that you will make. But sometimes you need to cut something from the middle of the clip, right? A lot of times when I record these type of videos, I make a mistake in the middle of the clip, not the beginning, not the end, okay? So what I do there is I could come right over here. Let's say I made a mistake right here and I wanna cut this section. Well, you could right click, I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna click on a PC, you would just right click. And it lets you make a split, you see right here, it's called split page. So it basically takes that video clip and makes it two video clips or two pages as they call it. So now what I could do is I could go ahead and just trim this part of it, right? So it would just cut out the part where I made a mistake and it will go from the good part onto another good part, right? Very useful option here to cut the middle. But you could actually split as many times as you want. So if you wanna just go ahead and cut this, I'm gonna go ahead and split the page here, go a little bit further, split the page here again, and let's say just this part was the part I made a mistake, I'll just press delete on my keyboard and it'll bring the other two clips next to each other and the part where I made a mistake is gone now. Okay, so this is very, very useful. This is basically called a split where you take out the middle part of any clip. So trimming beginning and, and middle is pretty much all you're editing for the basics of telling your story. Now, one more option here I'll show you. You see right here where it says five, this grid view. If you click this, it's gonna show you the order of the clips, including the ones you split here. So if you prefer to look at it this way, you could always go here and press the plus sign to add a clip in between clips. So if I made a mistake here and I cut that section, I could press the plus sign, I'll get a blank canvas here, and I could actually add a clip to this, right? So I could go back to the other view and you could see it added a new page or a new blank clip right now. Now in this case, I don't need this clip. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it, but that is another way you could go about it. Now I'll show you something that is not very obvious and sometimes you wanna add a cutaway but you want the audio to keep playing. So let's say I'm explaining what's going on on this beach, right? This is me talking, explaining what's going on on this beach but I wanna add a clip but still keep me talking. So this is what happens if I grab this clip and then if I put it down here, what it does is it basically replaced that other clip, right? That's not what I want to happen. By the way, if you make a mistake, you could press undo up here, this arrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that to get my clip back. That is very useful because you will often make these kind of mistakes and you wanna revert back. But I could grab this clip instead. And what I could do is I could put it over here. Now, if I let go, you see it creates this picture in picture effect. Then I could shrink it down and let's say I want this clip to be over here. Now this is picture in picture and not cutaway, basically how I'm making this video, but I, could start here and look what happens if I press play, it's gonna show me talking and it's gonna show that other clip as a picture in picture. But that's not really quite what I wanted in this case. I wanted this one to be full screen. Well, I just have to stretch it out and it's gonna look like it's replacing the other video, but it's not. The other video is just underneath it. So this is a workaround where you just drop it on top of the other video on the canvas up here. And now if I press play, that video, I have it on mute, but it's playing in the background still, the audio from the video, and this then makes a cutaway. So this took me a while to figure out because I thought I was replacing the existing video and I didn't want to do that. So now if I change my mind again, I could go ahead and either make this picture in picture or just press delete and the other video clip is still there. It did not replace that other clip. Where if you just drag this clip down here, it will replace it and then if you delete that one, it will delete where you were talking as well. Okay, so this is a useful way to do cutaways, not very obvious. I really wish they just made two video tracks so it was really obvious when something is on top of another one. That's typically how video editing softwares work. I think they'll probably move to that over time. Now, let me show you a few more advanced things here that you might wanna do. The first thing I typically like to do after I tell my story and I have my cutaways and all my clips is I like to add transitions. Transitions is what happens between each clip. So when there's no transition, basically, it goes from one clip. So if I go from this clip and press the plus sign, it'll go to the other clip. That's called a cut, right? That, that means there is no transition. But if I press the plus sign here, you could see it's giving me an option to add not just a page, but a transition. So let me go ahead and add a transition. And by default, it's none, means it's just a straight cut. 
But dissolve slide, you could see it gives you a quick preview before you even commit to it. So you could choose some of these, okay? So I'm gonna do, let's say I wanna do a quick dissolve. Dissolve is probably the most common type and now I have a dissolve. So if I press play, now it dissolved to me talking, not just a straight cut. You don't wanna get carried away and mix up too many transitions. I typically stick with one or two throughout a video, but you could see right here, now I have a nice dissolve. So you could do this between any clip. Just press the plus sign, you get this transition sign, and you could add one of these transitions. Now let's go ahead and add text. If you go on the left side, you'll see other options. So uploading was for us to bring our video clip, but we could add text here as well. We could have photos, and I'll talk about some of these in a second. But text is really cool because you could just drag it, put it on top like this, okay, and type out your own text just like that. And you could see I have all the editing options that you have with a lot of softwares that do text only. So you could change the font size up here or the style of the font. There's a lot of useful font options over here. You could change the font colors over here. So you could basically do anything you see. Obviously, it needs to be easy to read. You have effects. So if you wanted to do some kind of a drop shadow, that is useful for text. And you could animate it too. So you could make it come in, for example, just like this, right? Pretty simple stuff here. I'm gonna actually go ahead and select this text, press delete. You have some other options here that give it a lot of style. And this is sometimes where Canva Pro, which is the paid version of Canva comes in. You see some of these say Pro. So if I try to drag this one, it's gonna tell me to use the 30 day trial of the Pro version because some of the more premium options are just not included for the free one. So if you just want to use the free ones, you could go ahead and just use the free ones that don't say pro and you could edit these all the same. Now I won't go in details here, but you also have style and you also have elements where you could again do the same thing where you drag these elements on top of your video and some of these are animated as well and they'll animate. So if you take this one, for example, it will go ahead and animate like this as your video plays. Again, those are useful and pretty easy to use. But I do want to show you how to actually work with music. So right here under the audio tab, you'll have lots of different music. Again, the ones that don't have the pro icon, you could use completely for free. So look for some that don't have that and you could go ahead and take any of these music files and add it just like this, drag and drop. Now, the nice thing about music, it actually puts it on a different layer. So I could grab this and bring it to the beginning. So at the very beginning of this video, I'm gonna have music now this music doesn't stretch out all the way. It's just not long enough. So I may want to find a song. This one is 31 seconds. You see over here, it says 31 seconds and my edit is longer. So I could either trim down my edit, which is probably not what I want to do. If I already made the edit what I wanted, that's why I do music last. So I could choose a long enough song or you could just add a couple of different music tracks. So if I wanted this one, then after this one, I could grab it, put it here and you see it made another video uh, or audio track and I could just go ahead and start this a little bit later. So where this one ends, this one starts. Now, the one thing is sometimes you want this music to be background music. A lot of my videos where I'm talking, it doesn't make sense to the music to overwhelm what I'm saying, right? The audio level has to come down and the volume to change that is these three dots over here and you have this option called volume. So you could go ahead and click that and typically You'll have to just kind of listen, but it should probably be around 2025 if you are using it as background music. It could be at 100 if this is the only sound and you want the sound to take over. But if you're using it as background, go ahead and reduce that. But then listen because it really there's no uh, right number here because it just depends on the song and how prominent the song is and the original volume. And as you can see, you had other options here as well. So you have audio effects where you could fade in and fade out. This is super useful. So I will typically put a 15 here, 15 here. This will just create a really nice fade in and fade out so it doesn't end abruptly. So I recommend you do that as well. And finally, I'll show you how to share this video. Let's say you're completely done here. What you wanna do is you'll see the total length of the video up here. It says 43 seconds. You could go ahead and click it to get it a preview, make sure everything is good. Okay, I'm gonna escape that. But you wanna press share right here to share it. Okay, so sharing is you could download it. So I usually download the video as what's called an MP4 video. This is the most common video. Most YouTube videos are this format. So I would just go ahead and download it to your computer. 
but you can from here share it to social media straight from here. So if you want to do that, you could connect any one of these. Now, I typically just like to download it. So what I recommend you do too is just press download, download. It's going to take a second right here. You see it's downloading it to your computer because it has to do a little bit of encoding, what's called encoding. So basically putting all the pieces together. And then in a few minutes, you're going to have it to your computer. You could upload it to anywhere you want from this page. And as long as you made an account while you're doing this, the whole thing is saved. Okay, so you don't actually ever have to press save. You log back into your account. You could always work on the same video from the homepage. So I hope you found this useful. Now I have a ton of other video editing tutorials as well as Canva tutorials on this channel. So I'll link some of the resources below and I hope to catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching.